It's party time! Yes, Vio Piñata, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? This is Godfrey, and that's uh, Miss Irie, all the way from Wisconsin. Irie, what's going on? What's up? All right, so um, today... Hi, Tiger. Oh, yeah, that's Tiger, too. I forgot. That's Tiger, ladies and gentlemen. Tiger, Tiger. All right, so we're gonna talk about Vio Piñata. I, I, I've been um been playing this game a lot lately. Um, I, I know at first when we first got to hear about this game, I was like, Vio Piñata, what's up with that name? And then we finally got to see like the pictures, and I was like, ah, I don't know if that game is gonna be good because you know, um, lately Rare been releasing like okay games. You know, Camera was good, Perfect Dark was very disappointing. So now I read that you got to play on Vio Piñata. What do you think about the game? I think it's a lot better than the way that it was, it was promoted at first. Uh huh. Because I, it kind of doesn't explain the game very well with the way it was promoted. Mm -hmm. It kind of makes you think like, like first, first thought in my mind, I, I thought it was just, oh, it's just a little kid game. someone would come and help me tidy up this mess. That's what I thought at first. And I'm all, oh, that's something my little nephew and niece will be playing. Yeah, I mean... But then after, like... Go ahead. No, what you were saying? Well, after I got to play it, I, I got to an impression, because, you know, you get to do more than just, like, you know... Walk around with a little piñata. Yeah, yeah. You actually get to build a garden and you trade things. You trade piñatas with people online. But it's a lot even harder for little kids, I would think. I, I think so, yeah. too, man. Like, I, I don't know if I, I could see a kid. Maybe this game will be good for a parent and a kid both playing together, maybe, you know. Um, but, you know, I don't I don't know about a kid alone. I mean... I haven't, I haven't tested that. I haven't seen that before. So like, you know, kids playing and I mean, I got feedback that sometimes kids get a little confused with the game. So, you know, but uh, besides that, I mean, the only thing that I was like, yeah, I think they should have added, which I believe it might get added in 2007 because, um, Vio Pinata, maybe I, I want to visit Iris garden. You know, I want to see how her garden looks like, you know, or she could come in mines and fix mine up. <laughs> I don't know, but um, yeah. I, I think I think Rare is probably going to update this game in 2007 and maybe add that new feature because a lot of media have been asking them questions with different developers like, are we are going to see, uh, you know, a feature like that? Um, and also I believe too that Microsoft is being very careful because it's like this is a kids game, so they don't want you know random kids to meet up with you know some perverts or whatever you know online so that's why they have that that feature that video um on the game it says it says uh uh the safety online video they have in there yeah i think that's why they, they they're doing that too so they just want to have it right you know ah, this is the life isn't it hudson candy comfort and viva pinata on the xbox 360 what more could we want yeah. i'll tell you what fergie going on xbox live so we can play with people from all over the world that way i can show everyone how i hudson horstachio the world's most popular pinata has completely mastered this game yeah. 
playing with people online that we don't even know? I'm not so sure that's a good idea. I say we just play it safe and stick with the two of us. But my public awaits me. Well, they can await some more. We're going online. No, we're not. How's your, how's your garden, first of all, when you started off? Was it confusing? Was it easy? It was easy as probably because I'm used to those kind of games yeah. since I play The Sims. Yeah, that's, that's true. kind of that's a true. game that you, you know, you make stuff and you have to actually take care of your characters. Otherwise, they won't like each other, you know, they'll argue with each other, they'll fight with each other. Kind of like the same thing you do in The Sims, except, you know, there's, there is some things that are a lot different. But, you know? but The Sims is different because The Sims... It's like yeah, because you're an adult. Yeah, <laughs> it's more like an adult kind of yeah. game. But not only that too, like in Vio Piñata, you just tell the, the piñata come over here. It's up to them, and and, and, the, and also it depends on the environment. You know, like it, that's when you can see the effect too. Like um, also like depending how how you have in your garden, like what plants you have in there. Uh, uh, maybe if if you have a pond s somewhere. Uh, another piñata will come out, you know, like, it's pretty cool, like, I never, honestly, like, for, for Xbox and Xbox 360, I've never seen a game like this, and I think, to my, in my opinion, this is, like, one of the best games that Rare have done since uh, 007, so, I mean, what, what do you think about that, like, do you had, um, do, do you recommend this game to everybody, I mean, right now, everybody's like, oh, Gears of War, Game of the Year, and why view a piñata, you know, what do you have to say about that? I think some people it's because they haven't played it. Yeah. I see. I I've been asking for this. They should have had a download a downloadable demo yeah. online that people could have actually tried it out. Because I wanted to try that out before I even got the game, just to see what exactly was it the game actually about. Mm -hmm. And I never saw a downloadable demo. I wonder why. I don't know. They always do that. <laughs> Look, there was no demo of Gears of War, so. It's an exclusive game, you know. I know Gears of War too. Why didn't they have a downloadable uh, demo? I don't know. I don't. Know. But another another thing too. How, how's your piñatas? Let's talk about piñatas. Uh, which piñatas <laughs> you've been unlocking and and you know, talk I about it. I made a one. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes, he's a troublemaker. <laughs> I have one. He has. I have one piñata. He's eaten a lot of my time. I have. Piñatas. I, I have one piñata. It's called Kuka. He's like a little bird, and had, I, I I bought him a, a little hat and a scarf. He's like, you know, so I know it's Kuka. When I see him, I'm like, all right, it's Kuka. Kuka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like it's cool. Like each pin piñata, you could um name name them different names. You know, like whatever you like. You know, yeah. um, you could design also the, the, your garden with with fences and um you could put lights and statues and all kinds of stuff in there, man. Like I've been doing pretty good. Like I start off like that. Um, I had way too many piñatas and then um i had to restart I got rid of the violent guys <laughs> yeah that's the thing too you got to be very very careful man because later on when you get to like level 10 or so um you're gonna see um more evil piñatas coming in and, and also um one of the, what's the name of that character that he comes like when a piñata gets sick he comes and try to destroy your piñata and stuff like you, you know. yeah he looks funny yeah he's a little he punk. looks like a voodoo guy <laughs> <laughs> and and the good thing a good thing too like there's stores around the piñata, around the village, um, that, it, you know, you could get items, you could, uh, there's a doctor, there's a, there's another character that could build, um, different stuff, like houses and, you know, for the piñatas and all that, so, uh, let, let's, let's see, um, from 1 through 10, Ari, what do you give this game? And why you give I that, you give that, and why you give that score to that game, too? I would say I would give it at least, like, an eight and a half. That's decent, decent. And why you give it eight and a half? Because out of a lot of the games that I got for my Xbox 360, and I do have a lot of different games, I played it a lot. <laughs> Believe it or not, they've actually it's actually kept me there. But I guess it's all about taste. Some people don't like making things and making them look pretty. Some people just like shooting things. Yeah, that's the thing. It depends. I, I personally, I give it a, a, a eight point five. Um, this is to me like one of my favorite games right now this year that came out, you know, next to Gears of War and Oblivion and all that. So, I mean, give it a give it a chance, man. Like, this game is not for everyone, but if you're into like The Sims and Animal Crossing and and even Pokemon, you know, like this this game is is good. Even yeah, Pokemon. like honestly, like 
you know, gotta catch them all. <laughs> Check it out, man. This is a really cool game, man. And um, I really recommend it. If you're a rare fan and you think this game is uh-uh, pick it up. Oh, <laughs> yeah.